Hello, this is Stacy, and I am back with a video on how I'm going to put together this scrapbooking page. Now, I am on a design team for a local scrapbooking store, and so she uses these uh, pages that I make with for samples in the store, and that's why I'm working with not real photos. I'm working with these fake ones. So I'm going to make a two-page layout today with five pictures, five regular four by six or six by four photos. And that's what I've got these for, if you're wondering what that's all about. And I am working with this kit of products, mainly uh, from this ha Happy Glamper line by Photoplay. And super fun, lots of colors and images. I'm gonna move these over for a sec so I can show you what I'm working with. Uh, this is this the cover of this collection pack that comes with all the papers he that you see here, lots of journaling uh, strips or journaling boxes, stickers, stickers. And you'll see I've made some notes on the back because I kind of have an idea of where I want this page to go. And so I added some colors in. I like working with rainbow stuff and really layering. So I'm gonna see if I can get that done today. We'll see how closely this looks to my end product. We'll see. So here are the two sticker sheets that come in this collection. Three different alphas, all these different images. Pink Flamingo I think is gonna be like my favorite. That is just too cute. I like, again, I like all these colors and especially I like having the depth of this navy blue. To me it just really anchors and stands out really well. So this is the paper this is the A side, right, and the B side, and it's called journal cards. What I like about these is that there's all these different sizes, not necessarily all four by six or three by four, so that's kind of fun. The next paper is called Happy Glamper. This is the A side, all these cute little fancy campers. This is the B side, this gingham. Hey, what do you think about my fingernails? I painted them. Alrighty, next up is journal strips. This one's called Think to Remember. Has strips on one side and the pink multicolor dot on the other. I don't know, Think to Remember, that's not it. This is called journal strips, sorry. This one is called the multi-floral. This has got to be my favorite paper, hands down. Sometimes I hate it when I like the front side of the paper and the back side of the paper. So that's what's going on there. The A side, the B side. Sorry, next is this one's called Field of Flowers. Really like this cloud design, it's really soft. And then this side's pretty busy, got a lot going on. Next, this one's called Penance. It's got this kind of kind of aqua light blue, and the back has the small polka dots in green. So you really have lots of colors to work with. Okay, that's all the the stuff from the collection. I'm also going to be working with, this is a basil paper. I think it's called Flamingo, but I don't have the thing on it anymore. And then this background, oh shoot, let me see. I pulled the stickers off. I don't know what, that's a thing. When, when they have these little stickers on the back, I always pull them off. I don't know why I waste my time with it, but this is called uh, Velvet Night by Paper Accents. So that's going to be my background, those guys together. And these are some of the accoutrement. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, probably not. Embellishments, I've got this rib ribbon that is a, like a teal turquoise with this kind of sheer with a design. I've got a satin orange. From Illustrated Faith, this washi tape. All the different hearts. I like wonky hearts that are all these different shapes. So that's kind of similar to what what's going on here. These are red. This one actually doesn't have doesn't have red. It's a couple of pinks. Maybe that's supposed to be red. Who knows? Okay, so Illustrated Faith washi tape. The this is called Apple of My Eye. These enamel hearts. Labels from Illustrated Faith. The one more from Illustrated Faith. These are darn cute. These are called Eve's Mix. They are paper clips. I'm just gonna open it up because I know I'm gonna use them and show you kind of how they are 
wrapped around, the felt is wrapped around the clip and hot glued. And they are relatively, and if you can see from the side, not super bumpy. That's what I kind of don't like is when embellishments are so tall and big that you just feel like they're kind of overtaking your page and are never ever going to fit into an album. These are pretty bumpy, but they're actually the top is a little flat. These are sparklets from Kaiser Craft. Simple Stories Let's Party Enamel Dots. I really like these bright colors. In fact, I've used them before. Now there's more. And Heidi Slop Clips. These are metal, metal clips in these kind of greens and blues. So I've got all the colors of the rainbow here, and I'm interested, really excited to work with it. So let's get going. I'm move all these to the side a little bit, and I'll show you what my plan is. So my plan is to take from these this paper pack what I really want I want this one I'm gonna start with this because my my plan for my page if you recall I'm gonna pull it back out again so you can take a peek my plan is to use these photos four by six vertically with a different background and then four or I'm sorry three photos going along this horizontal line. So I want to build a horizontal line across the bottom and I'm going to use, I'm going to try it just to right here. So I'm just going to trim these off. Let me move those ribbons. I'm using my Fiskars Rotary Trimmer. I really like this trimmer. It never gets furry. Even when the blade gets kind of dull, this edge never is furry. It just becomes kind of easier to cut. Okay, so I'm going to take that from both of these sheets of paper. That's what I like about having two of the same, even in the, in the collection. This one has so many really basic patterns on one side and then all these super detailed glamping. Um, I like when a collection does that. The B sides, you know, are so versatile. They can be used with anything. Because when you get a collection, you're like, okay, I've done enough scrapbook pages with the jars. Okay. So this is kind of my idea here. And build my page up from there. Now, one thing that I'd like to do is my big border here and then my three across. Each of these, I don't know if I'll overlap it or not. Let's see. I want each of these to have a different colored background. So it'll be more of like a rainbow going across. Red and pinks, orange and yellow, green and teal, and like blue, dark blue, light blue. Sorry, I'm getting crooked here. So that's just how I'm gonna start. Knowing that I'm not gonna have enough space for a really big mat over here, I think I'm gonna go real small on this first mat. Right, that'll fit better this way. And then I'll have a better piece of scrap paper. Okay, so I'm gonna go for it. I'm opening my top drawer over here because I keep, I use Tombow Mono Dots. And I, I always buy it directly from the Tombow website. They're pretty great about, um, you know, I get emails from them not every day, unlike some places where you get so many emails. Um, I just get emails like when they do specials. They'll have all the adhesives on sale or all of the the whole store on sale or something. And I don't remember when I got these, but um, I always get, it, get a bunch of them when they're on sale. Are you a sale lady like me? Can't, can't say now. But I need it. I use it often. Oh, someone's mowing the lawn outside. So I work in the kind of front corner of my house. And sometimes it gets kind of loud. So I think what I want to do is then use this pink. It's not a lot of contrast. Huh. Let me think that one over for a moment. Now, of all these papers that I have, I'm going to do a real thin border on each. So remember, I want to do yellow here. So I'm going to pull out this paper to 
matte this one and over here I'm going to use the green which is here and then I'll be using the dark blue at the end okay and then I will layer a second color and scooch these out to the side my other blue. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, that's because I am. Okay, so I'm going to do orange and yellow here. I think I'll do orange in the back and then yellow. Okay, and I'm going to use this red. It's got that multicolored glamper thing going on. I'm going to use red here. All right. So I'm showing you how I'm going to use all these papers, and then I'm going to put you on pause or fast forward or something so you can see me, but you don't have to watch me make all these silly decisions. Um, I am going to be cutting these out and using them all tucking behind. See how this turquoise is definitely more on the green side? I'm going to be using these, not because I need field notes, but I'll be using it because of the edge, the border color, and probably same with a lot of these. So I'll be cutting that one apart also. Maybe I should be thinking about that when I'm doing this. I think I will. Make sure that I'm using this corner so that when I, I can use the flip side and I can use the ones that I really want, these colors. I hope that's making some sense to you. Um, so I've got green, and remember I'm going to use the offcuts behind here. And okay, so I'm going to put you on fast forward so you don't have to listen to me babble on. Okay, hold on a sec. All right, so now I'm just cutting mats for all of these photos. And you'll recall that the first box is going to be red and pink, the second one's orange and yellow. And I'm going to put the measurements down below for you right now. That way, if you wanted to figure out the exact same sizes, one's really thin and one's slightly bigger, just so that there can be some contrast in there. And you also would have noticed that the back page of one of my offcuts, I went ahead and just cut down those journaling boxes from the journal boxes paper. All right, I'm back. I was trying to save you just from all that cutting and kind of deciding and switching my mind about what was going to go where. Um, you'll notice that behind these like little photo placeholders, I guess, I only put a couple of little stripes of adhesive. I'm gonna do the same with this top layer. Before I adhere it down, I'm really kind of noticing that this one has pretty good contrast, but for, and that one's okay, but this one doesn't really. I think what I might do at least for this one, is pull out some inks. I keep all of my inks throughout time in this old, mm, I believe, I was totally gonna try flipping this over without spilling stuff. Jokester, I'm such a jokester. It's a longer burger basket, look at that. I don't even know, somebody, oh, cause I, not so much these days, cause I'm getting cold and older, but I used to wear flip flops all the time. So someone gave, my friend gave me this basket one time. Very nice. Um, anyhow, I'm gonna pull out, I wanna do something around the edge here, something kind of green. This is a neon color. I bought it, it's a pack of them. So it has, it doesn't say who makes them. I wanna say it's by Hero Arts, but I'm 100% positive I bought it from Studio Calico at some point. I didn't say anything actually on it. I'm thinking that this green, I know you're like neon green really, but I think it will just provide a little edge there that is clearly green. I'm sure there's like a fancy like thing I could use to put this on. But what do you think? Does that help it stand out at all? Mm, probably not. And I fast forwarded another part, but now you're like, I wish you would have fast forwarded this part, Stace. Ooh, green. Okay, this one is Marvy Matchables. 
I've had this for a super duper, super duper long time. Um, it's definitely darker. I know it's getting on both the pa both papers. That works out okay. It's fine. Anyway, I just wanted to have something that could. That works out great. I'm happy with the way that turns out. <sighs> okay, now I'm putting this back. Make sure the lids are all mostly still on. Okay, sorry. Segue. I was not planning that necessarily, but I just looked at these and I was thinking there's just not enough contrast. I mean, this dark blue has a fantastic contrast with that light blue background. That one's good. This one's not on. And the reason I'm only putting adhesive kind of in the middle is you'll see in a moment, should I ink the edges of this? Nah. The, anyway, the reason is because I'm going to be layering a bunch of small pieces. I'm just going to tuck stuff in and behind and around. Hope it looks good. All right, so this is the other piece I don't, do not yet have attached. I'm going to go ahead and adhere that. These are from the journal strips paper, right, that we cut off. Okay. And I like how they match both sides. So that worked out kind of nicely. I'm not a super huge fan of this color in the background, but I bet it would be great in small doses for like, it's a good contrast here with that dark dark blue but I bet it would be really good on a like a birthday party page birthday in small doses all right I'm gonna go ahead and hair these down to the background oh I was thinking of using this washi tape because it's super cute I already used a little bit of it I was thinking of putting it down there but it doesn't stand out a lot what if I changed up the pattern paper a little by making it just over the stripes. And then it makes this very blue. I like the, how the green cause, made some contrast. Let's, let's try that out. Or, see I think here, because of the white and how the washi tape sort of see through, I think it just kind of looks meh, boring in the background. And Photo play, great company. Love the, what you've done with your papers, but sometimes I just like making it my own. Changing up this this stripe, you could have you could have just cut it out from you know each of these strips individually from the full paper. Here's the one, the parts that are left, and I'll be cutting into these a little bit. Whether I'm going to use the words and cut them up, or just cut out like some of the strips and tuck them behind. Not yet certain how I'll use it. I'll definitely use some of the pink and tuck it behind when I'm using the pink and, and red section. Anyhow, but I just decided we'll do something a little different with this. Add some washi tape in here. I'm trying to make sure I have it above that dotted line so that it's the same as the other page. All right. And I can just lift it up, wrap it underneath. It's a little different. Adds in some more color down here. This, all of these are very multicolored, which is great. Um, but then with that green, and I've changed that to be multicolor as well. Okay. Now, now I'm going to set about covering part of it up, I guess. Okay. like so or should I make these I don't like how this seems like it's just this empty space whereas this line feels much more anchored and that's why I would put this row lined up down here rather than lined up across the top I, I always make sure I'm really kind of crazy about it is having common margins you'll notice right now this turquoise with the floral 
I'm gonna have the same margin here, here, and here. It looks like then my paper is meant to be there and it's sitting on this line. And on this side, I'm gonna have the same size margin. That's what I'm going for, all right? So that things are, in my mind, balanced and equal and you know, they just feel like they're meant to, meant to be there, okay? Now, could I move this down all the way? So that these lines are equal, I kind of don't like that. I don't know why, but it feels like then this part's sinking too much. I don't know why. I'm sure there's a design principle. If you're a graphic designer, please tell me why that feels funny to me and that I'd rather have it. It's almost like the space between here is about the same space between there. I, I don't know. Anyhow, if you know the answer to that, please tell me. Email me, make a comment or something. Okay, so now I've got really the base of this page going down right now. Can you see what I've got here? A little rainbow gradient. I got reds and pinks, the yellow and orange. I've got like the turquoise and green. And lastly, my blues. Now any of these spots really could one of them I could have just made into a journaling spot. And I'm, I was thinking of using something like this that was cut out from back here, or even this piece over on the side here. I might, I might still, let me just, while I'm talking about it, let me just cut it out and kind of see what I, what we, what I think about it. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut out this, this whole line. Now, if these were real pictures, I would, it would, I would have a little more freedom in my layering to layer over the pictures where there's an empty spot in the picture, or. And you'll notice right now, I'm not going to be doing a lot of, a lot of this type of deal. Um, I'm going to do some of that, because that would be super cute, and that's perfect with the red and the pink. Um and just put adhesive over here so that whoever ends up actually using this page in real life, they can just tuck a, you can just tuck a photo under there. And it's nice because I have so many different, I have all the colors to choose from in this cut apart from the journaling spot. What are these called? Journaling boxes. That's what this paper is called. So now I've got some yellow, I can kind of tuck stuff, I can cut it out and layer it, stick it behind, pop it up, all right? And then, this is green. This is turquoise. So I'm just gonna pile these up in all the sections that have that color. And then I'm gonna decide later I think I'll be using this one at all because this is the same. I'm gonna stick that to the side for now. But over here, I've got the same paper. I'm gonna cut this piece out because my title for this page is gonna be something more along the lines of adventure rather than glamping specifically. I'm gonna cut this out, but I am going to use that cloud because it's adorable. I used clouds, I think, in my last scrapbooking page that I did a video of. I think that some motifs are just real simple, like a simple shape. Um, okay, so for now I'm gonna cut this little thing out. I'm not sure if I'll end up covering it up with some more clouds or not. That's what I'm gonna do. Now the reason I'm cutting this out, I'm leave, trying to leave that slightly darker border there. And again, I'm not gonna do, I'm just not perfect. I'm not perfect at scrapbooking. Perfection is exhausting. I don't have enough energy for it. Uh, not that I could achieve it if I even tried hard enough, so. 
That's something that I like to apply in my scrapbooking as well as my life because, come on now. Let's all just give each other some grace, some time, some freedom to mess up. Grace. Let's give him someone grace. Will I be using this? I don't know if I'm taking so long doing this, sorry. But now I can decide to keep it, or if I decide not to keep it, I'll just cover it up. So this was just kind of an idea. Maybe put some clouds over here. Yeah, that cuts over a little too much. Maybe. And I could cut some of these out. But do you get the idea? I'm working with color schemes. So now I'm gonna pull out some embellishments because this will, might change where and how I put things layering up in here. Okay, this is easy. I've got blue here, but I have this light green and this other green. I'm gonna go with that. Okay, I'm gonna move these out of the way. I've got some red hearts colors. These are more, this can go either way. I have some clips I can do here. And I think red would be fabulous over there, but maybe that's too much red. Yeah. All right. And these labels from Illustrated Your Faith. Now what I'm kind of going to go with as far as this whole scheme goes, if you look at this page as a whole, you're going to see green kind of down low and blue up high. So I'm thinking sky and, you know, grass. So before I get too deep into the embellishment land, these are all very small pieces. I'm going to be putting these over. Two clips, two bows. I would rather have had like one of each, but you can't always get what you want. But if you try sometimes, you just might find you get what you need. I apologize for my singing, but you know, again, I am going to sing sometimes because it makes me happy. Uh, also, a while a moment ago, I utilized the alphabet sheet here. There's going to be some stickers I can pull from this sheet as well as these excellent alpha alphabets to maybe make some additional words. But I spelled out life is an adventure. But you can't see that at all. So I have this sheet of basil cardstock. It is in the name Daisy. Margarita, is that Spanish for Daisy? Huh. Never did I know that. I just thought it was a delicious drink that I'm going to be drinking when I go to Mexico and all the time. So see how much better this shows up. I'm just going to cut like a couple little strips of paper, maybe make them into banners. Let's see. How many inches should it be? One inch exactly. Now I betcha this would be enough. I put these on some wax paper. That's not going to be long enough. I need two pieces. I saw somebody else doing this and now I have done it a couple of times. Putting letters, especially some, a long one like this. Other times I don't care too much and I just slap those letters on, down. But this time I, I knew it was going to be sort of a long one and I didn't know whether I wanted to be like life is an adventure all the way across. And I still don't know. I'm still not sure. It might be nice because I could put it along here. And then I've got a solid line all the way across. I hope my page isn't looking so crazy since I've piled everything up over there for you.
All right, so that's the idea. I'm gonna put you on fast forward now as I start layering some of these things because let's face it, you don't really wanna hear the sound of my voice forever and ever. And if you do, wow, call me, we'll talk more. Okay, I'm gonna be cutting up all these little pieces, adding them in and also utilizing. So that's the order that I'm gonna go in. Notice I did my base. It's all about that base, even in scrapbooking. I've got my base, something for it to sit on. I've got my, my pictures lined up. And now I've found all these small elements that I'm gonna somehow cut up and stick in and layer up. And then I will do more details. I will add in some stickers. I've been thinking earlier, like I said, this is like the grass and I'm picturing this as the sky. I've got a few clouds going here that I'd like to put up. A pink flamingo, which right off the bat, you knew that was gonna be amazing. Oh, there's two. There's two pink flamingos uh, in here, this, this area. Cause I'm kind of picturing the pink flamingos being down here in the grass. Also they're pink, so that's why I'm pointing to this area. Pink and red stuff, all here. Orange and yellow, all here. Green, turquoise, blue, blue. All right, so I'm gonna fast forward this so you don't have to listen to me shitty chat chat this whole entire time. Alrighty friends, this part goes super fast. I didn't quite mean to fast forward it so much, but there you go. All I'm doing is taking stickers, off cuts of paper, and I'm tucking them behind in each of my four color categories. So this part did take me a little bit of time, but it was really easy because I just looked for all the blue stuff and tucked it behind. I used some of each embellishment type. And as you'll see in these close-up photos, I layered things quite a bit. Even just a blank label, like in the, each color has just some blank labels tucked behind. And what that does is becomes a great resting spot for additional embellishments, other sheep stickers like the flamingos, hearts, enamel dots, etc. So I hope you give this one a try, do some color layering, and thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and hey, I love scrapbooking, and I'm sure you do too.